Hello everyone. How a drug gets absorbed or gets into systemic circulation? Let us understand this concept. Now, absorption is a process by which a drug gets into systemic circulation. There are three major categories by which a drug gets absorbed into systemic circulation. First one is known as passive absorption. Second one, facilitated absorption. Third one, active absorption. Let us understand about all the three. See, passive, as the name indicates, it doesn't require any support of energy. It just passes passively. Most of the lipophilic drug can easily pass through the biological membranes and get into blood circulation. Does it need a carrier? No, it doesn't need carrier. It simply passes through the cell membranes because of its physicochemical properties. How the absorption occurs? It is known as down the gradient. That means higher concentration to lower concentration. Think about this. You have taken a tablet. It got into your stomach. It underwent disintegration and dissolution and the active drug is there in the stomach. So high concentration of drug is there in the stomach and in the blood there is no concentration of the drug. So slowly it passively diffuses into the blood circulation. So this is how drug moves from higher concentration to lower concentration. Even after that blood takes away that drug molecule from the site of absorption. Again concentration of the drug in the blood decreases. Again absorption occurs. So this is called as down the gradient. Three major points. Passive absorption. No carrier is required. No energy is required. Absorption occurs down the gradient from higher concentration to lower concentration. Second method is known as facilitated absorption. Facilitated means it is being helped by a particular protein. So that protein or carrier molecule facilitates the absorption of the drug molecules. Hence it is known as facilitated absorption. So it requires a carrier. Does, does it require energy? No, it doesn't require energy. How the absorption occurs? Again, down the gradient from high concentration to lower concentration. But the problem is there is something called as saturable. If the carrier is completely saturated with the drug molecule, it cannot further cause any further absorption because it is already saturated. It is called as saturable. Whereas passive diffusion, it is not saturable. No carrier is there. Continuous absorption occurs. Third one, active absorption. As the name indicates, active means it involves energy utilization. So it, it, by using energy, drug absorption occurs. Now how it occurs? Up the gradient. That means from lower concentration to higher concentration. This is against the thermodynamics law. That is the reason why it requires energy in the form of ATP. So absorption occurs up the gradation. Up the gradation. Does it need a carrier? Yes, the, the protein carrier is what is carrying the drug molecules into the blood circulation. Is it saturable? Yes. The moment there involves a carrier molecule, it may get saturated because of drug molecules and after that absorption reduces. So saturable comes with facilitated as well as active absorption. So these are all the major three pathways by which drug gets absorbed. Passive, no carrier is required, no energy is required, it is not saturable. Facilitated, carrier is required, no energy is required, it is saturable. Active, carrier is required, Energy is required, it is saturable. So this is about drug absorption pathways. Thank you.